power learners and future power learners, today we're going to be doing a really exciting experiment. All you need to do the experiment is a bamboo skewer attached to a clothespin. To make it more sturdy, put, attach it with putty. You need a candle and something to light it with. And you need to make a paper snake. All you need to do to do this is to cut a circle in a piece of construction paper and then to cut around and around and around until you get to this. So now, let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is light our candle. Don't place any of the bamboo skewer yet. We're going to do that after we finish the rest of our setup so that it's safe. Make sure to ask your parent to light up the candle because we do not want to accidentally burn ourselves. So, then take your snake and place it on top of the bamboo skewer. You, we want to balance it so that it can just stand there. You might want to, this will take some time, but you also might want to adjust it so that the tail is to the side, so it'll be easier when we place our candle. So trust me, you might have to um, like adjust your snake length so that the end of your snake is not touching the ground, but not too high up. Around here would be perfect. So you, have to, you might have to adjust it a few times. So then take your candle and place it near the end of the tail. And then watch and see what happens. What should happen is for the for your um, snake to revolve. It might take a few times to get it in the right place. As you see, I had to move it a little bit to get it closer so that it would start revolving more. To understand how the snake revolves around the bamboo skewer, we need to look at something called convection. Convection is one of three types of heat transfer, the other two being conduction and radiation. Conduction is heat transfer through contact. So if you touch a hot pan, it's conduction because the heat from the pan is being transferred into your finger. The other type, radiation, is heat transfer through waves. So, as an example, when the sun emits its heat rays, that's radiation. Convection is the movement in a gas or a liquid where hotter material rises because it's less dense and cooler parts sink because it's more dense. Convection currents are currents that occur in fluid um, the currents that move in fluid because of convection. So now we're going to look at examples of convection currents and understand how convection works. If you bring your attention to the picture on the left, you'll see that there's a heat source heating up the bottom of a beaker. The water in the beaker at the bottom is being heated up, and so it becomes less dense. Therefore, it rises. Then it gets away from the heat source, so it cools down. So then it sinks because it becomes more dense. And this cycle happens again and again, and that's convection. And this example is a convection current. Now, what about convection in nature? Well, the theory of plate tectonics states that there are many plates on the earth that are con that are constantly moving and are the cause of earthquakes, volcanoes, and scientists believe that the mo the cause of these plates movement is because of convection currents in the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is the top part of the mantle as you can see in the picture. And the inside of the earth is much, much hotter than the outside. So when in the mantle, when it gets closer to the inside of the earth, it heats up. Then it rises because it becomes less dense, cools because it gets away from the heat source, then it sinks. So this convection, this movement, causes plates 
on top of the earth to move. And plates, I'm not talking about your the plates on your dining table. I'm talking about the, these large plates that scientists believe sit on the top of the earth. So now let's talk about our experiment. How does it work because of, because of a convection current? Well, our candles are heat source and it warms the air above it. And it becomes less dense and it rises and that causes our snake to move. But how does it keep moving? Well, cold air is constantly being heated up by the, the candle. So air is constantly rising because it becomes less dense and that keeps um, moving our snake. So in short, the snake moves because the candle has created a convection current in the air. So this is how our experiment works and a short intro to convection currents.